ಉದ್ಧವಗೀತಾ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಪೇಜ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಸ್ವರ್ಣ ಘರ್ಮಾನುವಾಕೇನ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ವಿದ್ಯೆಯ ಪೌರುಷೇಣಿ ಸೂಕ್ತ ಸಾಮಭೀರಾಜನಿ ಇನ್ ಆಗಮ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಶ್ವರ Agama Shastra is that where the description of Ishwara, the Lord Vishnu form or Shiva form, in Shaiva Agama talk about Shiva form, Vaishnava Agama talk about Vishnu form, Shaktagama talk about Shakti form, Ganapatya talk about Ganapati form. In those Agama Granthas, the way of worship, the mode of worship, the method of worship, all are given specifically, particularly, they are all very, very important. in detailed manner given in those granthas every one of us cannot read all agama shastras it is difficult also ananta shastram bahu veditavyam shastra is so big so vast one human life is not sufficient to study all the granthas but there and there in bhagavata lord krishna talking about um, vishnu bhakti how to do the puja what are the offerings all are given in uddhava gita like that in different texts different places method or mode of worship is given even though we are not able to study or read that agama shastra directly reading or learning that agama shastra directly it is important for a priest in the temple a temple priest in vaishnava temples and the shiva temples the priests are supposed to study thoroughly the agama shastras but uh, normal people how to know by seeing them how they are doing when you call a priest for puja how he does by looking at them vriddha vyavahara by looking at them looking at our elders we learn how to worship the lord so here bhagwan giving a sample for us beautifully this whole chapter is kriya yoga uddhava asked bhagwan please teach me how to worship you to get that highest knowledge it is very very abstract i am in a um, you know madhyam adhikari like so that uh, i can worship you i can 
purify my mind more and qualify myself for that abstract subject atma gyan the whole chapter is meant for what remember here 22nd chapter is meant for to qualify ourselves for advaita gnanam i told you in the last class uh, one of the class i said i think telugu class i said geeta bhashyam <coughs> whole religion worshiping ishwara is like an appetizer appetizer geeta bhashyam class i think uh, it is an appetizer like a tonic appetizer you use to increase your appetite similarly to increase your jignasa more and more as a mumukshu this worship of lord is like an appetizer so therefore lord krishna talking about um, how to worship chandana all those uh, different uh, dravyams he mentioned in the above shloka having got the means dravyams to worship the lord one should always uh, um, give bath bath to the lord with water scented water paneer by sandal gandha and ushira camphor saffron and uh, lot of other puja dravyams one can worship the lord later he said in 31st verse mantras also to be chanted puja is of three types kayaka puja vachika puja manasa puja so kayaka puja at physical level your hands are involved in vachika puja your verbal uh, speech is also involved you have to chant some mantras some shlokas some stotrams connected to that lord that is uh, also one of the part of puja or worship in manasa puja that is advanced after doing kayaka puja vachika puja for a length of time one can go to manasa puja like shiva manasa puja devi manasa puja lot of manasa pujas are there that is not easy for all of them so one has to do first kayika vachika then only automatically spontaneously you will go for manasika puja until that time this kayaka vachika puja is very important what is that vachika puja having arranged bhagwan with decorated having given the argyam padyam achamanam and vastram alankara everything you have to chant swarna gharma anuvakena that is one type of anuvaka mantras one has to chant all are given in the footnote swarna gharma means a vedic hymn beginning with uh, uh, lot of um, stanzas opening lot of verses swar suvarnam gharma parived parived uh, venam so that uh, etc you have to take like that mantras then mahapurusha vidyaya that means uh, um, mahapurusha vidya is also another type of uh, um, worshiping it is said in the footnote um, the opening verse of the vishnu sahasranama i told you already in the last class and uh, purusha sukta <coughs> paurushe naapi that means purusha suktena api even those mantras first line mantras if you do not know we have not heard also first time we are hearing swarna gharma anuvaka na mahapurusha vidya we do not know 
देर फोर कृष्णा से डोंट वरी इफ यू डू नाट नो आलो ड मैटर पुषेण पौरषेण ईवेन इफ यू चैंड पुरुष सूक्त आलो ओके साम साम मंत्रास यू कैन चैंट इट इज म्यूजिकल साम मंत्रास एंड राजा नादि देर आर साम मंत्रास राजा ना बिगिनिंग विद इंद्रम नरो नेमधिपा नेमधिता इत एक्सेट्रा लाइक दैट मंत्रास कैन बी चैंटेड देर इज वन नई श्लोक अबउट द्वैत भक्ति द्वैत पूजा इज वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल द्वैत मोहाय बोधाय प्राक प्राप्ते बोधे मनीषया पूजा कल द्वैत अद्वैतादि सुंदर इन मेनी ऑफ मई क्लास ई कॉप दिस् वेर्स मेनी ऑफ यू नो आलरे इट इज नाट हियर इन दिस् टेक्स्ट ऐ एम चैंटिंग दैट श्लोका फ्रम डिफरेंट प्लेस द्वैत मोहाय नर दिस् भगवान इज डिफरेंट ई एम डिफरेंट इट ईज बिफोर नॉलेज बोध आय प्राक बिफोर सेलफ नॉलेज बिफोर स्टडिंग भगवद्गीता उपनिषत्स अद्वैत मांडुक्य एक्सेट्रा वि आर् वेरी मच क्लोज टू द्वैत भक्ति द्वैत भक्ति बोध आय प्राक बिफोर नॉलेज इट ईज ओनली मोह मोह मीन वाट इट ईज ओनली डेल्यूशन भगवान इज डिफरेंट ई एम डिफरेंट द्वैत भावना दिस इज मोहाय बोधाय प्राक प्राप्ते बोधे मनीषया वंस यू गेट नॉलेज एज कृष्णा सैड इन भगवदगीता भाष्यम संडे क्लास ई टोल यू आ इन तेलुगु क्लास आलो ई सैड आत्म हू एवर नो मी ऐज आत्मा दैट पर्सन ईज Uh, really worshipping me bhagwan says there is no uh, any karma bandha for him therefore once such a knowledge comes prapte bodhe manishaya poojartham kalpitam dvaitam this dvaitam bhagwan vishnu is different from me shiva is different from me lakshmi is different from me durga is different from me vinayaka is different from me All these differences, kalpitam dvaitam, for what purpose? Why so many gods? Why to worship so many gods? Why not only one god? People are talking. Why this dvaitam? Different forms, different uh, uh, puja padhati is na. They are all kalpitam dvaitam puja artham. Only for the purpose of puja, puja artham kalpitam dvaitam. Is it uh, uh, not uh, uh, delusion doing like that? No. Deliberately we are doing. It is not a delusion. Deliberately. That is why advaita adapi sundaram. Advaita na enirke. What is there in advaita? Everything is Brahman. no form no color no taste no odorless tasteless colorless ashabdam asparsham arupam atma chaitanyam nothing is there only shuddha brahma is there na what a beauty there is no beauty at all there is no navelity there is no beauty there is no variety in shuddha brahma so let us have let us enjoy the sport it is like a sport krida like what balaji temple you go puri jagannath temple you go kedarnath what not everywhere temple rama temple ramlalla how beautiful he is very cute sweet cho sweet and children will you cho sweet rama बाल राम सो स्वीट हॉल वर्ल्ड वाज मेस्मराइज्ड बाय राम लला हॉल वर्ल्ड 
what a magic rama has got that is why advaita adapi sundaram annar idi sadvaitam brahma enna sundaram iruke idilo ramana sundaram balaji sundaram devi sundaram advaita adapi sundaram poojartham kalpitam dvaitam so it is kalpitam knowingly we are doing upasana is that only whole thing is upasana puja is upasana we know it is a turmeric powder but i see it as ganesha i know this is a flame i worship it as a devi i know salagrama is a stone i worship it as vishnu i know shivalinga is also another stone i worship him as shiva that is the bhavana advaitadapi sundaram i like this shloka very much dvaitam mohaya bodhat pra bodhat prak prapte bodhe manishaya poojartham kalpitam dvaitam advaitadapi sundaram so sundaram this is krishna's description is so sundaram you see what is this argyam padyam achamana adda sundaram the person who has got devotion for them it is sundaram otherwise they are all meaningless for devotees ram lalla the worship is so sundaram through lakhs and lakhs of people are going to ayodhya every day hmm? waiting and waiting for darshan what is that na sundaram na how many abharanams how many garlands and rama face also so attractive na and suddha brahman la enna attraction iruka adukku da krishna says these are all very important to purify your mind okay don't say never mind <laughs> i don't um, worship and you have to worship you have to develop devotion towards god continuation <coughs> page 332 verse number 32 vastropavita bharana patra sragandhalepanai alankurvita samprema madbhakto mam yathochitam all are very simple verses you can visualize your ishta devata in front of you vastra upavitam and what are all you have to put to the lord after giving bath mantras are there for every step there are mantras we do not know that is the problem <laughs> it is a different matter but uh, you see the priest when they are doing puja and uh, visiri showing kannadi and the mirror so many things lot of things they keep clean and keep for bhagwan and upachara is go on and on and on and now look at the mantra shloka vastra you decorate the lord put garments <coughs> vastra for ram lalla sake how many different designs they are showed <laughs> hmm? every day one one different different dress for lord <coughs> vastra then upavita for bhagwan you have to put upavitam agnopavitam also that uh, thread upavita abharana lot of abharanams many devotees give lot of abharanams ram lalla getting lot of diamonds necklaces big big harms <laughs> he is getting and balaji also you see putting the kiridam everybody look at the kiridam not the face of balaji they look at the kiridam wah what a kiridam what a necklace what a na all those ornaments people see one important point you have to notice all our Uh, the sagama shastra temples or you know, deities idols are in black stone black color black in color fully black and garbhagriha is very inside 
and you stand at outside and you look at uh, uh, that uh, dark uh, idol what you can see you cannot see anything already dark inside and idol is also dark if ornaments are not there that jigni jigni you know shining and phala phala and the jerry and the diamonds marakatam lot of uh, stones uh, all uh, you know um, gold shining all those are not there colorful flowers uh, colorful dress uh, they are not there you cannot see that idol at all do you know that so therefore they are all called tatastha lakshana in vedanta language if you want to say tatastha lakshana balaji kiridam is tatastha lakshana to know where is balaji's face <laughs> oh, balaji face uh, namam also they keep diamonds they are also called tatastha lakshana they show oh, bhagavan the lord balaji's face uh, hmm? like that they keep abharanams to the shoulders uh, leg uh, hands everything ah you can know the hands legs uh, the chest part of the bhagavan head part how do you know otherwise you do not know that is in spite of all those things people are not able to recognize where is that amba where is that hmm? if you see that kanji kamakshi mudra meenakshi the nose stud Hmm? Even Kanaka Durga of Bajwad also, the nose stud is uh, so, uh, it's uh, uh, what you can call its brightness is so heavy. It is a diamond, and it uh, through that you can know her nose. Who amvale ko pumidvichir kanga na nose studs like that. Here also abharanam. i hope when i am talking avarana you are enjoying all the visualizing that no balaji rama etc avaranam <coughs> then patra if shiva is there bilva patra vishnu is there tulasi mala like that patra srag chandan srag means mala pat mala pushpa mala srag gandha lepana varieties of Uh, sandal paneer that paneer in the water you put lot of paneer and uh, sprinkling that you no know, there um, lepanai he to the body of the lord you apply in alankurvita in this manner you have to do alankarana in um, vijayadashmi time also navaratri time also at home people does this even shravana shukravaram we used to do that varlakshmi varlakshmi nomb and you put that coconut uh, and ice and nose uh, everything and jada ellame we keep abharanams vitla irukra abharanams water all we have abharanams we put that ambal and the pattu sari and she is sitting for 9 days that form we have to worship varlakshmi vratam so very nice beautiful alankurvita how sap prema <laughs> with prema prema word is in pumlinga and napumsakalinga not in streelinga there is no feminine gender for prema but in tamil nadu especially uh, the you know, girls they give name prema prema is a streelingam girls kuda the streelingam there is no streelingam for prema it is a uh, pumlinga is there ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಣೋ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಣ ಪುಮ್ಲಿಂಗ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರೇಮಿ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರೇಮಾಣಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವ್ ಎನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ದಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಯರ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಮ but if you understand prema is not a streelinga word okay in future for your sake i am telling so those who are having prema name don't go and tell them okay don't tell them for your sake information sap prema with prema you have to do all this hmm 
கடனேன்னு பண்ணக்கூடாது அதோ இட் இஸ் ஹேவ் டு டூன்னு சென்டிமெண்ட்டாக பண்ணக்கூடாது வித் லவ் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் யூ டூ ஃபார் யுவர் பேபி ஃபார் யுவர் கிராண்ட் சன் ஆர் கிராண்ட் டாட்டர் ஹவு நைஸ்லி யூ கியூ பாத் ஹவு நைஸ்லி யூ அப்ளை பவுடர் ஹவு நைஸ்லி யூ பூ டு ட்ரெஸ் ஆல் யூ டூ வித் ஸோ மச் ஆஃப் லவ் தேட் மச் இன் லவ் யூ ஹாவ் டு டூ டு பகவான் டு ஈஸ்வர இஃப் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் மீன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் கால் பிரேமா ஸோ மச் லவ் ஹவு மீரா பாய் டிட் டு கிருஷ்ணா ஹவு தியாகராஜ டிட் ஃபார் ராமா ஹவு எனி பக்தா துக்காராம் டிட் ஃபார் ஹூ பண்டரிநாத் பாண்டுரங்க விட்டலா like that they forget everything when they are decorating sab prema mad bhakta ha my devotee maam yatha yathochitam sab prema alankurvan ti kurvita my bhakta yathochitam means as their capacity don't think about diamonds i am not able to put bhagwan emeralds pearls and all doesn't matter remember bhakta kannappa remember shabari what a bhakti shabari has got therefore yathochita means according to her capacity every bhakta is having his own capacity we need not feel bad okay whatever i am having but you do with out of prema love for bhagwan bhagwan see your love not how much you are giving <laughs> okay next uh, continuation this uh, so this is uh, what for we worship i am not interested in worshiping you should not say okay as a grihastha especially okay sanyasi need not do all those karmas if at all pithadipati sanyasis are doing for loka kshema they are doing for not for their sake they are doing but as a grihastha when you are in a grihastha ashrama you have to do as what it is a to thank the lord dhanyavada to thank the lord for taking um, uh, taking care of you <laughs> okay uh, and not only that after knowledge she after knowledge you have to do to thank the lord to take you to advaitam advaita gnanam he has taken you to that so for thanks whatever he has given for you to show thanks you have to do puja after knowledge krutagnyata to show my krutagnyata gratitude i have to worship that's why visiting temples is very very important next 33 padyamachamaniyanche gandham sumanasokshatan dhupadipopaharyani dadyan me shraddhayarchakah archakah the worshipper the one who does archana either in the temple or in the house archakaha shraddhaya with lot of shraddha should offer me dadyat hmm? dadyat means should offer me me na to me what are all he should offer to me with faith shraddhaya so here he shred, said shraddha in the above shloka he said prema these two are important normally people forget all these things uh, they remember only aabharana samarpayami vastra samarpayami how much love you are offering how with how much devotion you are offering is very important a bhakta a real bhakta is always relaxed calm and quiet no if bhakti is not there there will be anxiety any bhakta when you are doing puja at that time if you feel anxiety that is shows there is a lack of prema or bhakti once i have bhakti and prema where is the place for anxiety in the mind 
where is the place for worry in the mind? Therefore, in Narada Bhakti Sutras, Narada says real bhakti. Narada Bhakti Sutras, I uploaded in website also. How many of you heard? I do not know. Narada Bhakti Sutras, Nana Advaitan Dane. I am studying Mahavakya. I don't want Narada Bhakti Sutras, people think. Hmm? But purposefully, I took in Telugu also, English also. Narada Bhakti Sutras, beautiful. Not only two times, I, three times I took Narada Bhakti Sutras. One time I took in the camp, Kanyakumari camp, in my first, first camp, <laughs> Narada Bhakti Sutras. The moment I started reading those sutras, my God, wonderful, excellent teaching of Lord no? Narada, beautiful. Okay, so if you want to develop bhakti, listen to Narada Bhakti Sutras. Remember Narada, you also can develop. That's why you see bhakta means immediately who will come in the mind. Not our grandfather, not our grandmother. Only Prahlada comes in our mind. Dhruva comes in our mind. Mirabai comes in our mind. Chagaraja comes in our mind. Narada comes in our mind. Hmm? Bhakta Kannappa comes in our mind. Why? They had Shraddha and Bhakti, Prema. That we have to develop. Padyam Achamaniyam Archakaha Shraddhaya Medadhyat Padyam Water for washing the feet. Padyam Achamanam Achamaniyam Water for washing the mouth. Achamaniyam. Then Gandham. Scent. Then Sumanasaha. Flowers. Bhagavan, you have to give flowers. That's why in every house flowers should be there. In every temple, garden should be there. They should, are not supposed to buy flowers from outside. Big garden should be there in every temple. In every house also, there should be some flower plants. Offer flowers from your own plants. Why to go outside and keep some pot or some place, na, some flower plants. It gives so much satisfaction. From your garden, you take the flower and offer to the Lord. Throughout the day, you look at the flower. My own house, my own plant, my own flower, I offer to the Lord. How satis much satisfaction. Beautiful. Sumana Saha, Akshatana. If uh, suppose any dravyam is not available as a proxy for all other offerings, you can put Akshatana. Akshata also, why they are called Akshata? Unbroken rice, mixed with the turmeric. Hmm? That is called Akshatana. But people keep Akshata more hmm? and uh, dravyams are less. Adhikadikala, uh, tamulam kadikala, flowers kadikala, I didn't get this, I didn't get this. These are all the words people say. You are not supposed to say. Occasionally, suppose you won't get. See, Corona time, uh, you cannot buy flowers, you cannot buy things and all. So very difficult to get. What you can do? Akshadana samar payami. Padyam place la akshadana samar padyam na water irukko. Achamaniya padyam okay. What about other things? Only akshadana. Like that some places if you go not available, not akshadana. Dhupa, incense stick, some dhupa you can do. And with different flowers they create. When I went to Mantralaya last week, I saw, my God, uh, oh, 12 uh, hmm, uh, varieties of flowers, incense sticks. So many names they have written. Uh, this flower uh, smell, that flower smell, uh, rose flower, jasmine smell, sandal. So many uh, incense sticks. Uh, when I look at them, I feel so happy that young boy is selling all the incense sticks. For their sake, I'll buy actually. They are doing good job at least. To encourage them, we have to buy. 
whenever you go to temple you buy certain things because they are sitting all the way to take thengai ambalak mala mala edichittu pongo idu edichittu pongo karpura edichittu pongo nu solluva and in the front of temple some people just walk inside without buying anything as though it is not required for them they are having sure you have to think about the sellers also paav they are sitting morning to night evening uh, uh, if you everybody goes like with empty hands to the lord we are not supposed to go inside the temple with empty hands first la we should not go inside the temple with empty hands something or other you have to take in your hand either flower or fruit or something therefore to encourage them those sellers really their livelihood is depending upon that only and you have to encourage them they are sitting in front of that uh, temple in hot sun sometimes and uh, they are go on shouting shouting please take garland please take this prasadam everything like that we have to develop consideration for them concern for them and karpuram also how much it costs very less like that these are all to be encouraged you know those families that are surviving upon this only they are selling so many things there all the things you need not buy at least connected to bhagwan puja you can buy so you are all buying i know that but if anybody is not buying please note it we have to buy those people are also uh, surviving because of us only Uh, like as people if you want to buy who will buy from them that flowers will become waste next day hmm? and uh, i saw in that god is one place no mala at all no garland people are all going just to picnic spots like they are becoming nowadays in the phone or one that say mobile phone every place they go and uh, taking photographs and sending away at that time itself they will send even they don't wait until they come out of the temple hmm? even though they say don't carry mobile the people carry don't take photographs people take photographs and uh, what bhagwan uh, mala is there or not avarnam sar there vastram is there properly or not De- donate vastram to bhagwan donate avarnam to bhagwan why can't you donate therefore people should develop that concern for the temple where that um, they don't have money at all much to decorate bhagwan why can't we give lot of things we are spending for our children for our sake so bhagwan also should be taken care of <laughs> that is very very important visiting temples is important and taking care of the temple is our responsibility not just going and taking photographs they should not become like picnic spots when i visit the temples i feel that that's increasing more and more everywhere mobile camera video on and uh, just like picnic they are doing puja swami ji dayanand swami ji always says don't take photograph of lord especially in garbhagraha whether they write don't use mobile or not we are not supposed to take mobile garbhagraha that murti you have to take photograph in your heart swami ji says take photograph into your heart that swami is sitting in your heart that's all why to take photograph and sending to others so those who cannot walk and go and elderly people if you show them after going home it is nice but don't convert the temples temple tirtha kshetrams as picnic spots tell your children also grandchildren also when they go to the temple they should maintain the decorate that uh, not decorum wearing what type of dress they have to wear put chandan vipudi kumkuma no? wearing flowers uh, and orthodox dress you have to wear and go don't take it as granted if you have a picnic spot mind your dress also no connection to the temple and uh, leaving the whole hair as you like uh, and going inside the temple how you are disrespecting the bhagwan in the temple 
what right we have got to do that such a great pavitra sthanam we make apavitram in the name of visiting temples it is our job every hindu should uh, remember this point note it and tell others also we must follow and tell others that's why i am telling this much time so these are all i observe the people's bhakti is there their heavy crowd comes but the discipline to be maintained the sanctity to be maintained okay anyhow these are all my personal observations for the sake of our no maintenance of that uh, sanctity these are all my ideas i'm sharing dhoop deepa deepa also the lamp uh, upaharyani other um, um, upaharyani means uh, dadya sunrise dadya upaharyani means uh, that uh, rice uh, grains uh, incense uh, and light etc all these to be given to bhagavan in pdrc uh, and pdrc the tamanerka temple they do annadanam you put uh, rice there everyone comes and our pdrc how many people come so much rice comes and they can do annadanam like that or in goshala they make use of that rice श्रद्धया अर्चक मे दुड बी गिवेन नेक्स्ट वेर्स थर्टी फोर गुड़पायस सर्पीं शी शुल्यापूपमोदान संयावदीसूपाश्च naivedyam sati kalpayid everything is ready bhagwan is decorated very nicely now bhagwan is feeling hungry okay what you have to do you have to give naivedyam you have to put uh, naivedyam to bhagwan with what are all items uh, jagari uh, paisam no? with jagari you have to make uh, with jagari normally for bhagwan we don't use shakara and sugar made sweets we don't offer orthodox people never offer sugar made sweets for bhagwan only jagari made in big big temples if you go and see all pongal sweet pongal with jagari only they do not with sugar gudda gudda means jagari payasa means kheer Payasam, you know that. Sarpim she means ghee. You have to put a lot of ghee in that payasam. <laughs> ghee also you have to give. Just what are all we are eating, what uh, using all you have to give to Bhagwan. Sheshkulya means vadai. That you know, uh, chikkile, chikkilam they say. Uh, vadai, they put hole in between that type of uh, food item. Then... Uh, shashkulya poopam apoopam apoopam means uh, uh, appam we can say in tamil appam they say apoopam different uh, names are there in different places modakan sweet laddu <laughs> modakan na vinayak chavati they give laddu no modakasana modaka priya ganesha is a modaka priya <laughs> and every bhagwan is in his land laddu will be there so you are feeling hungry now okay naivedya will come later after 7 o'clock okay sanya sanyavade samya ve dadhi supanscha sanyavade means halwa okay halwa radarasam etc sweets baksham dadhi means curds soup on stay soup like you know, with the dal they make some soup or with um, some grains they do soup naivedyam sati kalpayet vibhave sati you have to supply 
you should have plenty of money you can do all these varieties in uh, varlakshi vratam time devi navaratri time nine days they do varieties of naivedyam varieties of bhaksham uh, bhakshanam bhaksham no bhakshanam so they do mm. all for who say can we only eat finally that's why in temple whatever prasadam they give little only they give prasadam but it is so tasty mm. uh pongal sweet pongal or uh, salt pongal anything you give you see temple prasadam is always tasty why na because it is prasadam the same thing if you prepare at home it won't be like that you know because of mantra shakti okay <laughs> naivedyam nivedanam food offering supper nivedanam kalpayet prepared and offer kalpayet vibhave sati means if possible all this you can prepare otherwise what na simple you can whatever you have you can offer na no? dates also you can keep uh, some honey you can keep uh, whatever you have that you can do next verse 35 अभ्यंगोन्मर्दनादर्श दंतधावाषेचन अन्नाद्यगीतृत्यादी पर्वणि स्यु पर्वणि स्युरुतान्वह देर शुड आफ्टर नैवेद्य मंडाल you have to um, give abhyanganam bhagwan see actually this should come before i do not know why they are given like this uh, there should take place what are all na daily these are all should be there that's why they are telling daily abhyangana snanam for bhagwan mardana na oil bath people we take at home no you are taking oil bath bhagwan ko adi kada they apply that shivaratri time maha shivaratri time to that linga they apply oil lot of oil you know because of that everybody comes and um, sees that bhagwan you know, so that bhagwan is having lot of power heat in that that's why they apply lot of sandal oil then they pour lot of dravyams abhyanganam um, other offerings powder oil uh, to rub on the mardana means to rub on the deity head head bath like uh, abhyangana mardana darsha you have to show that bhagwan uh, like a barber shop no the person shows look at your head how have shown uh, done na kamikrane beauty parlors and all they show they need not show they sit in front of the mirror itself bhagwan ko venda ma भगवान की हाट शो दी मिर्रर् आदर्श मर्दन आफ्टर वर्ड आदर्श मिर्रर् यू हाव टू शो दावन दीज आर आल डेली यू हाव टू डू नाट आफ्टर नैवेद्यम ओके श्लोक कम्स आफ्टर नैवेद्यम ओहो आफ्टर नैवेद्यम यू हाव टू डू दावन ब्रशिंग द टीत अब इन डेली यू हाव टू डू आर अट्लीस्ट अकेशनली फेस्टिवल टाइम यू हाव टू डू अद मीनिंग दंत धावन ब्रशिंग द टीथ ऑफ द लॉर्ड अभिषेचन ब्रशिंग द टीथ ऑफ लॉर्ड एंड ऑल एवल्यूशन लाइक ऑल द क्लीनिंग एंड द सरउंडिंग ऑफ द लॉर्ड हाव टू डू अन्नादि अन्नाद्य मीन लॉट ऑफ वेरइटी ऑफ नैवेद्यम एव्री डे यू हाव टू डू गीत संगीत सांग संगीत प्रिय भगवान यू हाव टू सिंग नृत्य आदि डांस आलो दट्स वै मेनी पीपल डू डांस इन द कृष्णा कॉन्शियस पीपल एव्रीडे दे डू डांस एव्रीडे दे सिंग एव्रीडे दे डू आद्यम वीणा भेरी मृदंग काहल कला गीत नृत्य तथा इन शिवमानस पूजा इट इज दानसम इफ यू हाव एट होम यू कैन डू प्ले एंड नृत्य आदि डांस 
when parvani syuhu parvani means uh, festival times especially or um, tan anvaham every day if time permits every day you can do if don't have time occasionally festival time you can do very nice vidhina vihite kunde मेखलागर्तवेदिभि अग्निमाधाय परितह समूहत समूहत पाणिनादितम् सारी पाणिनोदितम् विधिना according to the prescription of shastra विधिना विहिते as prescribed by Shastra, now he is taking that Homa Kunda. Olden days in Vedika, Vedic time, there were no idol, there were no idols at all. Only Homa Kunda, Agnihotram, that was the puja um, place for them. That is why Krishna is telling that also here. Uh, Shrauta Karma. Shrauta, now Agama Karmas are increasing. Shrauta karmas are very less. If you go to some gurukulams, they do Agni Hotram, Ahita Agni, Samidhadhanam, all those they practice. But in nowadays in modern houses you don't find. In America and all, to purify the air, they are doing Agni Hotram everywhere nowadays. They are not supposed to do. To purify the air, they are doing Agni Hotram. Agnihotra means uh, there are lot of rules and regulations, mantras are there, but they have taken it as granted. Hmm. In uh, America they are doing everywhere like that, they are not supposed to do that way. Okay? Uh, to purify my air, uh, see swartham, full and full of swartham, everywhere selfishness people. See, Homa Kunda means you look at this shloka, Vidhina Vihite Kunde. In that Homa Kunda, how many bricks you have to keep, Yavatirva, Yadavani, then Katopanishat Yamadharma Raja taught Nachiketa Agni to Nachiketas how to prepare the Homa Kunda, he taught. How many bricks should be used, that Homa Kunda should be circle or uh, triangle or half circle, they are all rules. Hmm. For my sake, uh, in my house I will do an, uh, You cannot do like that as you like. Homa kunde vihite, that's why vidhina vihite kunde. They should know this. Uh, na? I am doing Agnihotra. Uh, um, people in the for name of popularizing Agnihotra, you put a patna pandakuda. That is not correct. Okay. Those who are doing, you encourage them. You send money to them. If they do somewhere, that will spread everywhere. But those who are qualified enough to do that Agnihotram, you encourage them, you give money to them, you ask them on your name, for your family's sake, they will do. You send donation to them. Wrongly doing and all. There are people designed for that only. He encouraged them. That way you can do. Kunde mekhala gartha vedhimihi. Mekhala means a big wall should be constructed. And gartha means a pit. Down you have to dig the earth. Vedhimihi means a platform. You have to keep all those things for offering. Pit to uh, kindle the fire inside that gartam. Inside, totally inside, uh, you have to put a wall. Agni adhaya, having kindled the fire, paritaha, in the surroundings, um, the fire should be um, lit, paritaha, and the surroundings of that uh, fire. <coughs> What are all required, uh, they have to be kept. Many conditions are there. Samuha, Samuhat Pani, Pani na Uditam. So, with the help of hand, 
bring that uh, all firewood together with the hand and uh, you have to lit the fire do agni hotram so this is the shrauta karma agama puja is smarta karma agni hotram is shrauta karma next verse 37 paristiryath paryukshet anvadhaya yatha vidhi prokshanya sadhya dravyani prokshagnau bhavayet maam maam bhavayet may you meditate upon me how atha atha means then uh, you after arranging the homakunda you have to put at surroundings uh, darbha grass around the homakunda paristirya paryukshed paristirya means putting the darbha grass around the homakunda um, Pariyukshet, sprinkle water. Anvadhaya yathavidhi. Yathavidhi anvadhaya. Bhu swaha, bhuva swaha, suva swaha. Like that, Vyahrati you have to chant. Vyahrati to be chanted. Uh, this is all um, special for Ahitagni. Agni Adhana Karma, we call it as special Ahita Agni Karma, Bhuswaha, Bhuvaswaha, Suvaswaha, like that. Anvadha, yeah. Yathavidhi, Yathavidhi, I remember, Yathavidhi means uh, not as you like, okay, exactly as said in Shastra, rules and regulations to be followed. Proksha, Proksha, Prokshanyan asadhya, special purified water. Proksha. Prokshani, prokshanyan asadhya, dravyani. In that water, all things to be offered. Different offerings near the homakunda you have to keep and you should not run for the things. First itself, you have to keep them arranged. After while chanting Vyahrati, may you visualize Dravyani Asadhya. Prokshani means sprinkle the sacred water from the, um, the vessel where they keep, uh, and you have to put it in those uh, upon those Dravyams on it and uh, meditate upon me. Meditate upon me. Me means what? The indwelling Antaryamina, who is sitting inside. Proksham Agnau Bhavayet. All this you sprinkle ghee, whatever you have to offer in the fire, you have to offer. Anvadhanam has to be done. Fire itself is. Uh, considered as the symbol of Lord in Shrauta Karma. I told you, you know, those days there were no temples, uh, idol worship and all in Vedic times. These are all Adama Shastra based temples and all. Those days uh, uh, like uh, you know, temporary tents, houses, they go somewhere and keep the tent, they stay there. Like that, everywhere they prepare homakunda and they worship and they dismantle the whole thing and they make it normal and go some other place and again do homakunda and worship. That is why this um, fire itself is the Lord. Meditate upon that. So Bhagavan is giving both smartha and shrauta. Both. More in the next class. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamivava Sishyate Om Shanti 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 
हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम